All right, um, now you can see I have all five of my parts built and saved. And one thing to notice, um, this is my black part, but for the purposes of uh, printing and dimensioning, um, black does not work too well as a color, so I selected a light gray for my black piece. Um, so now we're going to want to assemble this. So of course we're going to select a new assembly, or that is the standard IAM file. Okay, not weld met or mold design, standard inch IAM. Uh, create, create, and of course that's take it takes a minute to load. Okay. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is place a component. Now sometimes if somebody else has used your computer recently, you might see place from content center or iLogic component. That's not what we want. We're placing a component. We'll use that content consent center later. Now when you first bring that up, um, you're going to want to think about, okay, how does this part go together? And you're going to want to try to think about how uh, select a part that's built in the orientation from the bottom up the way that you would want to build this. So I'm going to select the red part on the bottom. That's the flip the right way. My, you'll see, my red part is flipped the right way. My natural wood color part is not. Okay? So I'm going to bring that in first. Okay, and when I bring that in, you'll notice it would allow me to bring in multiple pieces. Again, escape takes you out of that tool. I don't need multiple pieces. Okay, um, under that cube part one that I have, you'll see there's a little push pin here, and that also tells me that it's grounded. And I want that part to be grounded. Now, if you want to, if you bring a part in by accident that you want to unground and but you always want at least one part grounded when you're doing the assembly. So now I'll bring in my other component and that goes into the wooden part. Um, and that's flipped around, but that's okay because it doesn't really matter. <coughs> um, it, it will get flipped around for me when I constrain it. Um, now you can rotate parts around if you want to. Um, I want this piece, as you'll see, um, it slides uh, directly where this face slides along, you know, this face here. Okay. So I, I just use my cube to flip around a little bit. Um, it, and maybe I want to rotate this piece around. If I want to rotate a single piece and not using the cube in the top right hand corner, that shows me what I want to see. Because um, this face here mates up against this face. Now our basic constraints, we have mates and flushes. And it's going to take a combination of three mates and flushes to put each puzzle cube piece together into the cube. So. Um, I'm going to connect that face with that face. You hear that pop, that's a good sound. Um, it doesn't stick until you hit apply. So I'll hit apply. Um, and I often, this one's going to take two mates, I think. I'm going to mate this one. And rather than rotate, I'm just going to flip on the bottom of the cube. You now I might want to rotate. I just need to get that face there. There we go. And you don't need to see the whole thing, just enough of it. Of course, click apply. And of course, now it's not lined up. So let's flush the sides. So for your parts, it's going to take a combination of three mates and flushes to put it together. And once you do put it together, of course, neither part will move. When I try to move that wooden piece, it's totally stopped. Okay? So that's the basic assembly constraints.